to understand scoped storage, we first need to understand how storage works in general on Android. We differentiate between internal and external storage. Every app has its own private directory in internal storage and this directory is not visible to any other app. Everything else is considered shared or external storage. And that external storage had two major problems. On the one hand, a lot of apps need the read external storage permission, but most of them only do simple things with it. They don't need to access the whole storage, but they could. On the other hand, apps often leave files somewhere in external storage and when they are uninstalled, they still take up space. Scoped storage solves these two problems. It was introduced at Android 10, but only mandatory from Android 11 onwards. Now, the system knows which apps created which files, so these files can be removed once an app is uninstalled. Also, every app can fully access their own directories in shared storage, and every app can save media files in collections without permission. But if we want to change files that we don't own, that we didn't create with our app, then we can do that with the functions create write request or create delete request. With these functions we can request to modify or delete a bunch of other files, but that needs the user's approval now. We can also now put files in trash instead of deleting them. These items in trash can will be deleted after 30 days, but can be recovered until then. But some apps do need write access to the whole storage, like file managers. What happens with those? Here the new permission Manage External Storage was introduced to access everything on the file system. But this permission needs manual review on Google Play submission, so they will check if your app really needs that permission. And the user can also enable and disable this permission in the app settings. So to sum it up, scoped storage improves the user's privacy by limiting the freedom developers have. Do you think Google did a good step with this? Or do you dislike this new storage type? Tell us in the comments.